Hi friends, my name is Prasad. You are watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time example scenario so that okay, I can teach you something over here. Here today's scenario is, okay, I do have mobile numbers. Then I want to convert these mobile numbers to look like this. So how we can do that? So 10 digit uh, mobile numbers and then I want to show like this first digit and last digit and all the between digits need to be showed with okay. Now we can uh, show that one. So uh, this is a column from a table, and then I want to create a new column, okay, uh, based on uh, using some tags. So we can do that. I created a new uh, custom column over here, and then, okay, so I want to show that one. So this is the logic behind, okay, this one. So what I've been taken, I've been taken the first digit of this, okay, number, how we've been taken, the left side first digit using the left function, left of this particular mobile number column, and then how many digits I want to get? I want to get one digit. This is how I got, okay, the first, okay, the left first digit. And after that, okay, I want to take, okay, so I know that this is like 10 digit, okay, number. So all mobile numbers are like 10 digit numbers. And then what I've been taken, so I get taken 8x over here, and then I concatenated with the left first digit using Amberson symbol. Then again, I've been concatenated this one with the, right side one digit. So how I've been taking this right side one digit. So right of this mobile number, and I want to get only one number from this. So right side only one digit I can get from this particular part of DAX. And then from the particular, this part of DAX, okay, I will get, okay, the one digit, okay, uh, the left side one digit. And then this is the center part, okay, the eight X. And then I concatenated using this Amberson symbol two times. So obviously the left part, and then the uh, index and the right part of that particular phone number, and then we got this okay number. So this is how I converted the mobile number into so this. And then again, we do have another scenario. Like here, I don't have like any particular okay uh, number of digits. So this is the number of digits vary okay every time dynamic uh, number. And then for this, how can we do this? I will explain this in two ways. One is like. Uh, mm, mm, a normal kind of thing and then second one is very easy using variables how can we write tax very easily that concept okay on this particular example i'll tell you over here so first of all let's go with like okay um so this uh particular column how we created this one so as usual the left side okay i've been taken okay one character from each and every row so here okay so left of this particular phone number and then i want to take one character from this one digit from this so I've been taken and then kept it in this particular part. And okay, in the right part, okay, so I've been, how I taken the right part. So from the same number, okay, right side, one digit I want to take. So that right of that particular column. And then as an argument, I've been given one character. We'll take one digit from this particular, okay, right side, one digit, and then keep it over here. The center part, okay, what I've been taken, right? So earlier, okay, I know that the length of this particular each and every row is like 10 digits. Then right now I don't know like this is completely dynamic. So first for that, what I need to do, first of all, I need to find the length of this, how many digits are there in this particular each and every row, I need to find it out. So for that, so what I've been taken, length of that particular, okay, column, I've been taken. So for each and every row, I'll get the length of that particular column. And then we know that we already taken the first and last digits, so I don't want to take that one. So I want to minus two. So length of this column, okay, and then, sorry. Length of this column, and then, sorry, where is this one? The length of this particular, okay, column, and then minus two. Already we've been taken the first and last digit, so I don't want to, like, okay, count those. So how many X that we want to keep, that is what I'm trying to list, uh, uh, replica over here, put it over here. The length of that particular phone number minus two, I've been taken and then uh, those many times we want to get okay the x in between the first and last digits so we can how we can do that again using repeat function a repeat of what you want to repeat x character that you want to repeat how many times is many times total length minus two times so here the total length is three then minus two is like one time one time i want to write x and then again i okay combined these two these three things first character, the last character in the center part using this ampersands. 
again, you can use combined values or concatenate, multiple uh, concatenates. Okay, you can do a lot of other ways, but this is the way that we can do that. And I'll explain you how we can do that very easily. Like for the basic people, the beginners, how we can do these particular things very easily, how you write text. So for that, again, I want to code this line. I don't want to use this particular code. I want to write it again. So what I'll do, I'll code this. So to code any line, to make it uh, uh, non-use, okay, you can write double flashes. And again, to move it into like next row, next time you can all click alt enter alt enter i've been taken into that thing again i want to write this particular logic very easily using variables so i've been taken a variable how we this how we write a variable so write where and then give it a name so whatever you want to like i want to find the length just write the length and then okay so i want to find the length of that one so length of total okay uh number so length and then okay so um what i want to take okay i want to take okay number okay this column and then i got my length of that and then what you need to do i need to find okay the length how many digits how many x that we want to give so again how we can get that one same thing minus two characters because we will take uh, the first character and last character uh first digit or last digit later so obviously to find how many x that we want to take you can simply write minus two. So you can make it length or else like, okay, number of X, whatever you want, you can write it. So what I'll take now, I'll make it so number of X. Then make sure that you don't write any space out there in the variables. So that's fine. I I, uh, I got, okay, how many uh, X that we want to write okay, in between. So I got it over here. So let me, okay, go into the next line. So again, I need to write another variable. So first of all, here, I want to take the first digit of that particular okay, row. So how we can get so FIRST first DI digit. Okay, let's make it like this. And then again, so how we can get it? Left function, you need to use left function because you need to find a leftmost digit. So again, I want to give a column. So that is my column. Then from that, I want to get I need to take one digit from the left side. So that I want to get, and then again, variable, and then write, write digit. So sorry, so, yeah, write digit. And then how you can get the right digit, okay, write most digit. So using write function, write, and then you need to give that particular column name, and then, how many digits or characters that you want to get? You want to get only one character from here. So in three steps, I got the center path. So not exactly the center path. So we got how many times that we need to write X that we got it. So again, the first character, okay, um, that we need to like uh, show in the first place that we got it. And the right most uh, digit or character that we need to place, okay, that I've been taken. Again, I want to write over here. So take another variable. And then like, okay, so uh, middle part. So I'll make it like middle part or something else. So no spaces, the variable. So let's make it like that. Okay. Equal to uh, middle part should be like, uh, first of all, I want to like repeat. I need to use repeat function over here. So repeat function. And then what do I want to repeat? I want to repeat X character. How many times that you number of times that you want to like repeat? So I don't want to make it okay uh, hard coded or something else. I want to make it uh, by the number of rows. So that was already calculated in the previous variable. So in this variable, we already calculated how many times that we want to uh, write that x. So I'll use that one over here. So number of x. You can see the variable always shows with x symbol. So I want to take that. So what it will shows right now. So it will repeat the X in these many times. What is this? So for each and every row, it will find the length and then it will minus, do minus two, like it's subtract two, because already we are going to take the first and last character in, okay, in this row, we'll add that. So we we'll want to find only the between characters, the number of characters. We found that one and then those many times we are asking uh, this repeat function to repeat that X. Again, I want to make it this X, so any X you can use lowercase or uppercase whatever it might be and after that 
You need to return that. So you need to return that. What you need to return, I want to add the first digit and the middle digit and the right digit. The most part, the, the middle part and the right part. So how we can do that? So first of all, first digit or first part, whatever you've been taken. And then to add, you can use concatenate also, but I want to use Amberson. Okay, so let's make it very easy for you people to understand. So again, I want to take it at the middle part, middle part, and then again, so the right part. Right part, and then you yeah, already have been okay uh, quoted this one, so this what doesn't work. So what have been written? Okay, this will work. So this let's check the answer. Same answer that we are going to get. Right. Same answer that we are going to get over here. Man, let's see. So this is the way how to write okay uh, the complex DAX. In variables, you can split the parts and then you can write it in variables and then later, okay, you can use them. Okay, how you want to add or something else, whatever. So this is the easiest way to write the DAX, okay, whether it might be complex or whatever it might be. By using variables, you can split the entire concept of okay, RS requirement into parts and then afterwards, finally, we can add all them as per our needed uh, and then you can find the final solution. When you find a difficult complex solution, please try this way and then you'll find um solution very easily so if you have any questions you can just uh, comment me on this uh, in the comments and then i'll just do that kind of videos for you people hope you like this video just please subscribe this channel and then share it if you like and then i can make it more videos thank you have a great day bye